right now. I'll just move up. So guys, well, I mean, uh, this was the yeah. So that's the um, that was the bracket bracket of the final four. So that's all the score deficit and all that stuff. And uh, after so win loss is the priority, and then the score deficit, and then the score deficit gets doesn't matter because it was the only thing that was important was the top two. That's all that counted. But I'm saying, in order to determine the top two, they had to go to a score deficit they because the top to go two. To, they didn't have to go to score deficit because, oh, because they, they won two games anyway. Yeah. You are so smart. I sometimes. S M R T. <laughs> okay, so we are waiting for the first to five grand finals now. Um, I'm wondering if that was experimentation time from Sol. Read the card wrong, Miss Universe. Yep. I was given. Oh, I was being yeah. fed some bad information over here. I would just like to point that first, out. First, first runner-up, <laughs> Miss Colombia. <laughs> I am so smart. SMRT. SMRT. All right. So, uh, for real, first to five. It's first to five, right? First to five wins. First to five. No losers or winners bracket. Just first to five. Melbourne versus Sydney. Let's go. Oh, and so does go, Rose. I'm not surprised by that. I'm like that game in the grand scheme of things didn't mean anything. Oh wait, so if actually Seoul won it, then the win-loss deficit would occur, right? Wouldn't because everyone Bernard, it wouldn't have mattered because they still would have been top two. No, but if Seoul if Seoul lost, if Seoul lost, if Seoul, Seoul lost, I mean if Seoul lose. won, every, three of the players, three of the remaining players, were one win only. Bernard, can I can I tell you something? It doesn't matter. Don't try figure it out. Even if Rob lost, how was he second place? Wait, even if Rob. Wait, Rob won two wins. Sol two wins. Foxy won some one. So if Sol won three games, yeah. Rob would have only. Rob would have also had a one loss. Yeah. So that makes. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Alright, back to the game. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you apparently need a PhD to work out like who wins and loses in this in this game mode. Next time I will run the Capcom Pro Tour and I'm gonna make my own fucking rules. You have to beat me first. Oh gosh. So Rob with the first game? Rob with the first game that I didn't see it because I had an angry career and throwing a piece of paper in front of me. I need to get this thing straight <laughs> next time. Even after the tournament. It was actually his favorite character, Cammy. Who do you think? Uh, first of five, uh, Sol versus Rob. I would say Sol because of the greater character variety. If Sol, no, but that could also be a bad thing for him at the same time. Do you think because the switching characters is a bad thing, you just stick with the one? I think, in a long set, it's more important to stick with one character. I think. Because like all the all the effort that you built up with that one particular character might go to a waste. Shout out to Africa stage, the best stage. Unless you pick Elena. But back to the match. Rob sucks running or train on Soul at the moment. Rob Soul wakes up with the uppercut. Nice combo. Nice. Once again, almost evening the health, but Rob throws Soul in the corner. Nice. That combo video. Two uh, likes. I have a question. Is that crouch heavy punch to crouch heavy punch? Is that hard to do? Crouch heavy punch into what? It, oh, is, did someone link the Scott Steiner maths video in the chat? If you are, you're a hero. What's that? Um, it's difficult to explain if you've never seen it, but Soul has a 66 and two thirds chance of winning. Never mind. Sol is going to win because he is a genetic freak. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. That makes more sense. I don't like numbers. <laughs> oh, and the footsie. My math is like... Is like... Uh, me in a spaceship coloring a coloring book. It doesn't make any sense. Exactly. That's my math. <laughs> that is my math. <laughs> My math is unexplainable. Serious oh. Street Fighter commentary right now. This is eSports. This is Melbourne eSports. 
can't make up uppercut like that is minus five. What? Whoa. I don't think that was intentional. Nail. That's a bad oh. look. Didn't really capitalize on the punish. You though. know why? Because no one has ever seen her her what? super. So like nobody knows how to punish it because that's probably the first time he's ever seen it. Oh, no. it could have altered there. Probably two games up. Wow, why did he hit super? Like, what was he even going for? I think it was the uppercut FADC. Oh, that makes sense. Delay uppercut uh, FADC backwards into ultra. Because you can get more damage of Kami if you're going to spend all four bars just doing EX um, dive, kick? dive kick. Yeah, yeah right? Because that move does a ridiculous amount of damage. It's not even hard, like EX dive kick and EX dive kick. Hmm. Sentai with a stand jab. Yeah, come the hippos. Hippos are getting hype. Combo video. Nice dive kick. Look at those hippos. Aren't hippos like the most dangerous animals in the world? Um, depends what you mean, but they do kill land, an extraordinary land amount of people. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're not friendly as they look. I think they like, if they bite crocodiles, they can actually bite crocodiles in half. Um. Enough of National Geographics, we're playing Street Fighter. Nice anti-air by both players. So with a bit of a life lead right now. Good cross up. Oh, and the big whiff. Might be a momentum shift because Rob is going to do tons of damage. Almost equaling health at the moment. Uppercut. Oh. Nice. Getting the trip guard. I saw a footage of someone owning a pet hippo. It sounds like a bad idea. It is. But it looks cute when it's a baby. Every baby animals look cute. You know what the most dangerous animal in the world is? Scott Steiner. Oh my god. Already makes my head hurt. He's very dangerous for sure. Well, why is he whiffing focus attacks? I don't know. I, focus attack, I'm guessing, is because focus attack beats burn kick and focus attack beats dive kick. So like... Oh, okay, okay. Maybe he was going. Maybe he was thinking that. Uh, also, you could focus through uh, Seismo. Maybe like focus for death. Mm. But he whiffed it completely because he didn't do it. Press up. Oh, nice block. I was already taking a commanding uh, lead right now. Done. Uh, that that roll knuckle thing is now a V skill in Street Fighter Five. It's really dumb. That's it's like knuckle. the worst V skill. It's really weird. Yeah. Although it is plus on block. So good. Plus two on block. And you can combo off of it. Ooh. Good footsies. Uppercut. Oh, very nice anti air. Neutral heavy punch. It was an actual uppercut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like an actual uppercut terminology. Oh. Oh, he went. Oh, and no punish. No punish. Woo, how does that catch him? 3 0. So. Uh. This is really like for after this game time and like this long ass tournament. Yeah. This is be a bit of a stomp in the finals. Baby spiders are definitely cute. Although you gotta burn your house down. Game number four. Soul trying to do something here. That was a good sequence for Soul. He got 50% in this yeah. instance. Could have seconds. got a stun as well, but I think the stun recovered already. Good block. Nice throw. Oh, the uppercuts. Real uppercuts. Oh, and the crouch heavy punch. Uppercut into uppercut. Nice. nice. Good job. That's something Kami has really been super good, is like that, that fishing for the the spiral arrow with a crouching medium kick. Yeah. But Plus it is multiple versions of, of games, she's always been really good at doing that. It is Rob Sucks we're talking about. His Viper has been... Yeah, wrecking, wrecking all the Melbourne players today. Yeah, it's the first 2-5. Well, Rob was almost eliminated out of this. Oh, out yeah. of the, the, um He was too. But he's like well 
in advance right now. Yeah, he's, he's, he's had to fight back several times. And if someone from Sydney comes down and takes all our money, that would be disappointing. <laughs> it's good work, though. He's not the only one who came down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> much respect to the Sydney players. Whoa. Nice. Not much good health. Job. Yes. Seoul really, like, in terms of the <coughs> overall game, going 4-0. Like, going 3-1 is not great, but going 4-0 is, like, almost insurmountable. Yeah. Good air to air. Sol is in a really good situation. Uh, he's got all the meters. Uh, Rob is out of meters. And, oh. And they're fairly even on life. Nice end here with Anti the jab. jab again. Just checking him. Saying, I have the spacing. Is he anti-airing with Jab because he doesn't want to commit to a DP in case the burn kick comes Probably out? Probably just mistimed the initial buffer. The score update is 3-0. Uh, it's the same as on the screen. It's on the screen. Uh, is that 1-0? No, he didn't want. He didn't win one yet. Did he? Did he win one? I can't remember. Whoa! 4-0. 4-1? Yeah, 4-1 it four is. One. Yeah. You got it right, guy in the chat. It's 4-1. I don't know how to count. See, I told you that's the way I think. Scott Steiner maths. It's me in Africa washing a hippo's nose. That's my math. Rob is very solid right now. He came down to Melbourne, booked the hotel. Now he's going to get his flight and hotel money back. Oh, he's staying in a hotel. Yeah. Whoa, big whiff. So you can do it. Sweep the leg, so. Yo. Good confirms. Oh, oh, I think he, who's meant to go uppercut? Uh, I doubt it. He definitely went um, to burn out more like drop out. <laughs> I've been dropping out since <laughs> I've played fighting games. Good NTF Thunder Knuckle, although it's not the NTF version. This is looking pretty bad for Sol, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's pretty hard for him to win in this situation. Oh, that is so good, the Seismo cancel. Invincibility. This is a really good job by Rob. He's controlled the set from the start to the finish. It's Uppercut. going super good. Wow. Nice uppercut. Uppercut. Oh. Up. Oh. It's not anti airing. I really hope Sol can take this round. He's got a lot of mid. He can do it. Oh, yeah, he's going to get this round. And oh! oh! Oh my god! Stop doing that! <laughs> you know, if, if he had been mashing Ultra... No. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. like God damn it. That'd be so, like, so, like, impressive to see if you drop the jab and then the opponent just wins by mashing up uh, Ultra. Well, he had nothing to lose by mashing in that situation. He was dead. And even if he did lose, he was nice. he's four games That's up. That's very nice from Sol. Now, let's see if Sol's got something stylish for us. <gasps> oh, my gosh. He could have killed him. Oh, and... Oh my, oh my god, god. why are you doing so? So, oh god, what so. are you doing? Why are you doing so? What are you doing? Melbourne resets, Melbourne resets, don't worry guys, it's a strategy. It doesn't make any sense now, yeah. <laughs> but intentionally dropping your combo to lure them in a false sense of security is how you win. That is correct. It is like, believe me, I'm on commentary. That means I know what I'm talking about. And since uh, Rob is four wins up, uh, Sol is stuck with this character. Yeah, that's actually like... Uh, I don't think Rob is going to change just because of the level of success that he's been having. Yeah. And I think uh, I did play Ibuki a little bit before, but most of the games he did play Viper, so he'll stick with it. Woo! On the tip! I'm waiting for, for old like school a... Tech. The cross up. Uppercut. Uh, I've been waiting for the uppercuts against these burn kicks. Oh, and That's the ES dead, right? No. Oh. Woo! He could have gone from um, the, that 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 EX kick hit low enough. He could have just gone straight to ultra, right? You can, yes, you can, you can. But I don't think he was buffering because I don't think he was expecting that to hit. Oh, the crumple! That's good damage. Capitalizing yeah. on that crumple. Whiff on the uppercut. No punish on that though. 
You know, Cammy is not a bad character to have to win a five game set with if you have to win games in a row. Like, she is seriously momentum based. Very, very. It is just really hard to win continuous games in a row against Viper. And she isn't as good as she was in AE, so it is. You gotta put more effort into it. She's not exactly like. She hasn't had her teeth taken away. She's still pretty good. Yeah. She just had her teeth trimmed. Yeah. <laughs> she got a scale at the dentist. Oh! oh Soul has no health. Soul! It's not gonna kill, is it? Woo! It killed him. Guilty Gear gut system right there. Yeah. Bang. That's why his name's Soul. Bad dog guy. So bad the guy. Right into the game. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Sticking with Viper, it makes perfect sense to me. Like, he's not losing these by a lot, you know? Sol is definitely making this entertaining. Ah, I thought that would win. Good uppercut. Good uppercut. That's all I'm gonna say. That's a, such a typical yeah. typical trade in Australia. Someone uppercuts the other person, yeah. the other person jumps in, they get uppercut. But in, Aus in Australia, it's a good thing because you could whiff and that's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, is that a reaction? Or oh, okay, okay. I, 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 I pay that. It's gonna do a lot of damage. That's a, actually a good answer to um, Seismo buffering. Oh! Only oh! if this was 3 out of 5, she would have gone the other way. Sol, as he did that, before it even did anything, he looked straight at Carnage because it just completely whiffed. <laughs> See, that would have been normal in 5 because she hits the other way anyway. Oh, uh, that was really bad. But since this is strip out of 4, she used the that doesn't happen. Completely whiffed. That sucks. That was horrible. That might actually be set ending. That's safe. Oh. Is it still safe on corner? Wow. I doubt it. Doesn't make any sense. It's only safe because she carries you far away, right? Yeah. Uh, Frame-wise, I'm not too sure. Whoa! Oh. He let it go. He should have um, backdashed. Good uppercut there. Rob is in the lead. Yeah, I'll Robert, try, and that's going to be it. I think it w oh, it hit. It hit. It hit. Good shit. Good games. Nicely done. Nice work to Rob Sucks. Give him the camera. Wave at the camera, Rob. He's, He's too happy to wave at the camera. I don't think he can hear you. But yes, shout outs to all the OGs who came down. Look at all of them. Got shout outs to Rob Sucks for also coming down yeah. and taking our money. Yeah, how cool is that? We got, a, we got an interstate player coming down to this tournament. That's yeah. pretty cool, right? It sucks that he won, but <laughs> <laughs> it's still <laughs> nice he came. Big respect to him, though. The single Sydney warrior coming down, bodying us left, right, center. And, uh, oh, hold on, we're doing... Um, we're doing a... Let me know when we're good. Prize ceremony. Coxie winning 100 bucks. Sol wins 320 bucks. And Rob winning $640 for coming first. He covered his flight and hotel costs. And still got more money left over. Play Street Fighter 5. Oh, good Yay. job, guys. That was hella fun. How did you feel commentating again? Uh, it's been a long... I was really worried. Like, Why? I was sending messages because I don't know that... I haven't played forever and I haven't commentated in forever. Yeah, but it's, it's Street Fighter. It's not that different. That's true. Let's ask the chat. Chat, how did I do in my commentary? Yeah, I mean, just ignore my math thing. Just, uh, yeah. Let's imagine I didn't do any math. But thank you all for watching. It means a lot. Thank I'll do more regularly. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to be around for Street Fighter 5. Like, what yeah. else are we going to do, right? I know, right? Like, that's we'll, just be, we'll just grow old and play Street Fighter. That's all we want to do. I'll, pl I'll commentary again because we suck. As long as we have Scott Steiner, how can you go wrong? Yeah. I should have that as a next uh, uh, trailer for the next event. You'll have Scott Steiner doing maths. Yeah. yeah I would be okay with that. But then, yeah, oh, it was lots of fun. I'll hopefully I'll get to this, do this more regularly. Well, um, guys. Uh, By the way, this is a fire exit. We're not meant to put anything <laughs> in front of it, but we completely disregarded it. So uh, just ignore that.
And uh, yeah. Later, guys, we will come back in another event, maybe perhaps soon. Hold on, I gotta say hello to my girlfriend, Anna. Hello to um, uh, Rai. Look, who like is Dr. Oh, yeah. Hello to Rai, Dr. Robotnik, and hello to Eugene, who is Robo Perbex. Shout out to Dr. Robotnik for losing Marvel 100 <laughs> games in a row. In a row. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll talk to you all later. We're going to go eat? All right. By the way, i got to let you guys know that, yes, we have a, a special uh, Melbourne event for fighting games uh, focused on all modern fighting games, including Street Fighter V, Smash Brothers. We'll still play Street Fighter IV. There'll be Mortal Kombat as well uh, mid-February. So keep an eye out on the Couch Warriors Facebook and Twitter. I'll be there. Burnout will be there. Keep we'll an eye out there. on my account as well at, at Burnout Fighter. Do you have Twitter? Uh, I used to, but uh, I got rid of it because fuck Twitter. Yeah. Uh, if you if you want to know more about Kyle, Google it Wift in <laughs> YouTube, and then you will see. But uh, yeah, hopefully you get to see more in the future Street Fighters and other events across Australia. So S support your local scene. Go to events. Goodbye. Yeah. Come. To this local event raised over 900 bucks. You guys should, you know, come down more. So, laters, guys.